Okay, today we're going to start our Math Counts workbook with warm-up number one. The first thing you need to realize is there is a symbol here, meaning that there are no calculators allowed on the warm-ups. Our first problem asks us to calculate the length of a hypotenuse in a right triangle. So if we draw our right triangle, what is the hypotenuse? Well, we know this corner is 90 degrees because of this little square. You can see the square right there as well. When we are looking at a right triangle, the line opposite that 90 degree angle is your hypotenuse. So your hypotenuse on this triangle is this, this side opposite the 90 degree angle. Okay, now in our problem, it has, they have given us a ruler and we are measured from the 2 centimeter over to the 7 centimeters. Don't make the mistake of saying, oh, it's 7 centimeters long. It's not. We started measurements from the 2. So 7 minus 2 equals 5. And our, so our answer is 5 centimeters. Make sure you don't forget to put your units. Okay, this next problem, number two, is a ratio problem. We have a ratio of 9 to 4 of the length of a tri rectangle to the width. So we don't know what the length and width measurements are, but we know 9 times the length and 4 times the width. Whatever x is, we don't know. That's what we have to find for. So we know that 9x, the length, equals 18. That's what it says right here. The length is 18. So we find, with this problem, we basically solve for x. And to do that, you would divide both sides by 9. And that's going to cancel this out and leave you just with x over here equals... 2. So 9 times 2 equals 18. Then we come over here to solve for our width. We would go 4 times 2, put that in place of x, equals 8. Our answer again is in centimeters, so it's 8 centimeters. Okay, we're moving on to question number three. In this question, we have two and three-fourths pounds of rice that we want to distribute among bins that hold one-third pound. When we say the word distribute, that means we're going to take something and we're going to divide it up into these different bins. So automatically, we know that the problem is a division problem. Okay? So we have two and three-fourths pounds divi divided by one-third pounds, okay? Now, when we multiply and divide with fractions, we, have, we cannot have mixed fractions. We need to turn this into an improper fraction. To do that, we, we take the four and we multiply it by the two, and we add it to the 3. So what we have then is 4 times 2 is 8 plus 3 is 11 fourths divided by 1 third. Right. Now in when we multiply or divide fractions we basically take the second number here and turn Turn it upside down and multiply it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 11 fourths times 3 over 1. Then we multiply the numerators. 3 times 11 is 33. We multiply the denominators. 4 times 1 is 
4. Now we have an improper fraction, so I mean a yeah, an improper fraction. We turn, want to turn it into a mixed number, and that gives us 8 and 1 fourth. Now going back to our problem, it says how many bins can he completely fill? Completely, he can only fill 8 bins. He has an extra bin that's 1 fourth of the way full, but he can only fill 8 bins, so our answer would be for problem number four, the basic question that we're asked is if Jesse left at 4.05 p.m., what time did he get home? If you read the problem carefully, it tells us all the time he was gone. So to calculate this problem, we need to add up the time he was gone and add that. So the time he was gone uh, plus the time he left equals the time when he got home. Okay, so first we need to figure out the time he was gone, and to do that, we're going to add up all the time. So I'm going to add these in hours and minutes. Okay, so I've got zero hours, 15 minutes. I have got, then he waited 10 minutes, 0 hours, 10 minutes. Then he went to a movie that lasted 1 hour and 43 minutes. And then after the movie ended, he went home and it took 25 minutes. So 0 hours, 25 minutes. Now, the problem with hours and minutes is that with our normal addition system, we use the hundreds. And you can easily add and move things over to the next place. But when you look at hours and minutes, we only have 60 minutes in one hour, not 100. So you can't, you can't add these up straight down the list like that. You have to separate out your hours. So let's just do our minutes and know that we're going to have to add that then to our hour later. So let's just forget this hour for now. And when we do this, we have 93 minutes. So 93 minutes is actually 1 hour and 33 minutes. Now remember, we have to add that to this hour that we didn't add in before. So you want to add that to your other hour. And that tells us the total, total amount of time he was gone was 2 hours and 33 minutes. Now, the problem asks, what time did he get home? So, what did we say in our original problem? We said that the time he was gone plus the time he left will tell us what time he got home. He was gone 2 hours and 33 minutes. So, we can just plug that in 2 hours 33 minutes plus the time he was he left, which is 4 well, let's put make it time here, plus 4:05. And that's going to tell us the time he got home, and that gives us 8. So we got 6.38, and the problem tells us it is p.m. Okay, in problem number 5, what we're asked is what is the individual price of a ride without a pass? We are told that a carnival pass costs fifteen dollars and it's good for ten rides and that is a savings of two fifty so the first thing we need to do is know that a, a carnival pass costs fifteen dollars then if we were not going to buy the pass we need to know what our price is for the for ten rides without buying a pass we know it's two dollars and fifty cents more 
and we add those to get 1750 equals 10 rods. Now, so when we have an algebraic expression here, 1750 equals 10 R. So we take both sides, here let me write this again, 1750 equals 10 R. To get rid of the 10, we divide both sides by 10. You may have known that intuitively, but if problems are harder and the numbers are different, you may not. And when you divide both sides by 10, that cancels out our 10 here, and you're left with one ride. So 1750 divided by 10 is $1.75 equals R. So the price for one ride is a dollar seventy five.